Hello and welcome back to The Colony with Man of the Ants. We are taking another look at Beetle Uprising. It's been just a little while and in the time it's taken me to get back to it, the game has released into full version. It is now out of early access, so congratulations to Iocane Games for that and also to Slug Disco, who are the publishers for the game. So obviously everything's been patched and balanced and all that sort of stuff. They've added one new thing to the game, which is this mystery mode. And everyone goes, ooh. Now, mystery mode is very similar to campaign, but the eggs you discover have random genetics. So we're going to hit mystery mode and we're going to start a very quick new game and see if we can come across an egg. And see if it gives us anything particularly interesting. Um, so what do we want to do? We want to say, what have we got? What have we got? What have we got? We've got a little bit of goop. So with Goop, we can do the breeding. Do we want to do breeding for now? Or should we just crack on and just see what... Oh, every time. And just see what happens. There we go. If we say, do this, and then... This is the map. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, thank you. Be nice if there's an option to say, don't show the help if you've already done the game before. So I think we need to do this one first, don't we? So we've got a 74% chance for that one. We, that's, that's the only one we can send. Oh no, there we go. That's how you do it. That's how long it's been. So we'll send them on their little mission. We can also speed that up to do that. We may as well, actually. Send someone out getting some food for us, shouldn't we? Let's say don't show that dialogue anymore. And speed time up, 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 up. And they go wandering around and doing their thing. And the grid got was successful. We explored the nest. Wonderful. Do, 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 do. We haven't fought for the nets yet. I wondered why I uh, wasn't able to go to the next area. Yes, of course, exploring opens up the foraging areas. You have to fight the area first, don't you? So a little guy is on his way back. Who is that? Aditanti. He's taking his sweet time as Aditanti. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. And he's got some stuff. Wonderful. Right, so if we go back to the map, hit this, hit attack. Say go, say go. Um, what do we have here? Oh, he's an attacking one. They're both attacking -y ones, which is fine. They both cost the same, so they must have so relatively similar. But that one is above on everything. So let's say fump, get a massive thing, 125 goop cost, and off we go. So we'll just do this mission, and then we will... Oh yes, this is just an arena, isn't it, essentially? Yep, yep, yep. Skip the controls. Skip the controls! Skip the controls. Now, I have a feeling the first one's come from over here, but... Maybe I'm wrong. There we go. There they are. Oh, that one little guy just sacrificed himself for the greater beetle good. Come here, where are you going? Where are you going? One and a half minutes is the uh, challenge for three stars. That seems like quite a challenging number, doesn't it? Is that it? Nope. We're already a minute in. There he is, there he is. Go, 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 go. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Woo! Yay, we did it! I said it seemed quite challenging and then I smashed it out of the park. So we have our mystery egg. Not the best genetics, but good enough to get our conquest started. Ooh. So let's take a quick look at the mystery eggs and see what they entail. Where am I going to do that? It's in here, isn't it? Yes. We have a new beetle, and we have a new beetle. And then let's take a quick look at those beetles. How do we... I suppose we have to go into there to see their genetics, don't we? There we go. Try and remember how we got the uh, genetics up. So I can't see anything particularly mysterious about it. It's got a lot of uh, three stars there, doesn't it? I'm trying to think how that would compare and why it would be mysterious compared to the other ones. 
Let's have a look at our two starters. Nothing amazing standing out. Nothing amazing standing out. So if we... Da, 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 I think we need to put some food down because they're probably going to start starving. Get some more beds down, shall we? We've already got one of those. We'll get a rock down for them. Get some... Well, they've already got some rope. No more rope for you. And we have a trophy. Yay. Because we've got a three-star victory. That's why we've got a trophy. Fantastic. So let's go back to the map screen. Let's explore this area. They both have a very little... Nobody has a high chance for success there at all, do they? Well, let's send our youngest beetle out on that, I guess. Oh. I wonder what those two are. Uh, yeah, so let's send the youngest beetle on that, because he's the one with the highest chance of success. And over here... Oh, no one has a very high chance of success, but off you go! And then speed time up to the max. To the max. And then let's look at... Oh, can you not breed them because you're out of the nest? Oh, I didn't... For some reason, I thought you could still breed them even when they were inside the nest, but there we go. No worries. So got a few things from him. He failed. He failed. How dare you? How dare you? Uh, they're all very low because he's not very happy either. He's got the highest chance. Let's send him off. And they'll make themselves all nice and happy. Speed time up. Do, 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 do. They've got food. They've got beds. Everyone should be fine and dandy. Just waiting for this guy to come back in another 42 seconds. In non-sped up time, that is, of course. And everyone's lovely and happy now. Look, and he did it. He did it with a 50% chance. Good job, you. So one of them is still a little young'un. That guy's still a little young'un. Look, bless him. Bless his little cotton socks. So let's explore this area. Oh, no, fine. let's fight for this area. Let's do that. Um, so they're all still... Uh, an 18 cost. This one is the most quickness and health, so I guess we'll go with that one. We can only do that many, so let's say go. Yep. Thanks for telling me again. Oh, we're fighting ants, aren't we? We're fighting ants. Do it. Yeah. A few more left. And they're gone. And we're moving on. And we're, we seem quite diminished in number, but we haven't lost that much down there, I suppose. But it's not looking great. Not looking great. We need to kill three swarms. This is the second of the three. These ones are destroying us. I don't think we're going to make this, are we? And we need better. We need better beetles to do this, don't we? Well, there's the other swarm hiding down there, look. Oh, it's pretty close, but we have failed spectacularly. Spectacularly. Okay. Now you go and heal yourself up then, little buddy. And we will do a little bit of genetics. So that one has got 35. For, can you breed a young beetle? I suppose he's got 34 strength. So that's what I'm sort of looking at there. The other strengths are 30, 26, and a 26, a 25 even. So let's do the 34 and the 30. Take a quick look at the old uh, genetics. There's three, and that one's on a different um, allele. Are they alleles? So let's do that. So we've got a 36, a 35, a 35. This one is a really low quickness uh, regeneration and health. Not so great. 
And these two, th well, this one over here is not so bad, is he? His health and regeneration aren't particularly good. But he's got good quickness and perception, though. So maybe we'll go with this guy. And we'll call him Guzzard, apparently. Guzzard. What a good name. What a good name that is. How are they doing for food and the such? Like, they seem like they're doing okay, don't they? But let's put down some more... More bits and bobs anyway. We'll put down another bed, because one of them's disappeared, and another one there. We'll put down another rock, and another piece of string, and another piece of string. Wonderful. Everyone is happy as can be. Um, so Guzzard is the newest one. We can't really send him out to these grown-ups. In the meantime... Let's send him off on that one. I keep saying him. I don't. I think they're androgynous, aren't they? So let's do that. And what about mm, 22? Mm, 2258. Well, let's have a go. Let's have a go. There's a small chance of death. I don't think we've actually lost anyone from to death, from death to death in the uh, in the main campaign. So interesting to see if we might happen to do that this time. We'll put down some more sugar cubes because they seem to be smashing through those. I failed. Failed. Failed and completed. Yay. Guzzard is still a little young, so let's go back over here. Oh, that's not what I want. That's what I want. 61, 22, ooh, 72. Oh, but that's Guzzard. That seems like it's a risk, but okay. Off you go. 100% chance we'll have that. And a 78 for that one. Right. Speed everything up. Uh, this might help us um, grow up a bit, I suppose, if you send them on a solitary mission. He completed his mission. Congratulations. Oh, what was that one? Was that the... I don't know what it was. He's just made it over to the exploration. He has completed that one for the harvest. That one's done as well. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, so Guzzard is the one that's still out and about over here. Well, maybe they don't grow up when they're out and about. Maybe that's how it works. It's probably said at some point in one of those many things that I've just skipped straight past. He's working his way back ever so slowly. Ever so slowly. Still coming back, speed everything up. Speedy, 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 speedy. He was successful, excellent. We've leveled up, we've got a whole bunch of things. We can breed some more things now as well. Oh no, Gusset's still very young. Ooh. Hurry up, Gusset. Why won't you grow up? We do look like we're a little low on food things, don't we? Oh, that one's completed, excellent. We've got some more toys and things, do we? Yes, we do. How are we doing? Oh, he's still tiny young. Still tiny young. Well, that's his greatest need. I guess that's fun. There's loads of fun things around. And he's grown up finally. So let's have one quick go at this. We'll send Guzzard out. We want all of the Guzzards. We say go, 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 go. So we're going to head straight over here and try and deal with this one over this skeletal arm. That's them dealt with. Now we'll run... Where are they going? Oh. Really? Can you make it over there? You can path your way over there. Congratulations. Wasn't expecting that to happen. They do come through there fairly slowly, which means the uh, beetles might get overwhelmed a little bit by the first ants that come out. We are already down to half health and lower and lower and lower and lower and lower. So at this point, the only way really to say we're going to manage to complete this mission is by uh, regenerating. Can you only regenerate up to the current green bar? Is that how it works? Yes. Oop. Alt tabbed out of the game. So 
So let's have another quick go at this. Oh, no, we're going to get destroyed. Oh, well, no matter. Anyway, then. I think I'm going to leave that there, you know. I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update video just to say that the game was into early access and just to highlight the new mode, which it didn't do a particularly great job of highlighting, but nonetheless, it's given you a bit of an idea of what it might mean. One of the things I think it said if you saw on the beginning of the screen was it can give you some really good benefits early on in the game. So if you're lucky with those mystery eggs, you could end up with some really interesting beetles straight away. I didn't want to focus too much on this just because I do have my main campaign mode, non-mystery mode, uh, beetle, I'm going to call it a colony, because what else are you going to call it? A nest? Nest. Nest is probably better. Do you have my main nest as well? So what I might just quickly do is just say, uh, load up the main nest. Just so we can see it. We've got 18 beetles in there, remember? And look at that look. Doesn't that look amazing? So organized. We've got the toys. We've got the grooming. We've got the food. We've got the rock entries we've got all the crystals we've got all the beds it looks amazing doesn't it but yeah so as i said just wanted to highlight the game was now out of early access congratulations to the developer iocane i think it was yes iocane pretty sure it was congratulations to them for getting in out of early access and into full release that's a massive achievement huge huge congrats to them thank you to slug disco as well for uh prodding me to let me know that it was coming out of early access because as i say i've not been around all that much as you probably realized and i haven't been paying attention to steam news and stuff so i might have completely missed it so Thank you to Liam from Slug Disco for that. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do hit the like button. That'd be massively appreciated. Comment, subscribe, all those good things. One day streams will return, but not quite yet, I'm afraid. But I'm hoping to do that soon. I am hoping as well to get back into doing some more regular videos as well. This is hopefully the beginning of that trend. So hopefully, fingers crossed, you'll start to see the channel return into a bit more of a normal state of output. Maybe one day we'll return to this main campaign in Beetle Uprising. If you guys would like that, do let me know. Otherwise, I will see you next time in some other magical mystery. I'd usually say VR at that point, but not VR. Some other magical mystery non-VR adventure, perhaps. Or maybe VR depends on what you're into. And as always, thank you very much for joining me.